Google Web Designer tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Web Designer. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Google Web Designer, you could also use my affiliate link below the description or earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Google Web Designer, it is a free professional grade HTML5 authoring tool developed by Google, designed primarily for creating interactive and animated web content. And it allows users to design visually engaging websites, advertisements, and web components using an intuitive drag and drop interface while also supporting a manual code editing for more advanced developers. So now from here, you can click Download Web Designer in here, and after that, you can simply open it directly after installing this application. And in this pop-up window, we have here an option to choose either to create a new file, albeit a document from scratch, using a template, find help, or even just open a file from your computer. But in this option, I'm going to choose to start from scratch. So I'm going to simply click this Create a New File button to proceed. Upon doing so, it will automatically be directed here. And you could also create a new blank file by entering here or by choosing either ads. But let's say we're creating here a banner. And on the right side panel, you can simply enter here the name, the location, and many more. And even the dimension of it. And click OK button to proceed. And once done, you can now proceed in here and start navigating in some of the editing tools that they offer. Now, firstly, on the top panel, you have here the option to choose. You have here the file which can be found on the top menu bar and provides essential commands for managing new projects such as new to start a brand new project or file allowing you to choose document type, size, and even add settings if possible. While the edit option in here provides tool for modifying and managing elements within your project and even enhancing both workflow and precision in design. Moving on, you can click this view which allows user to control appearance and layout of the workspace. While the window in here allows user to manage the visibility and arrangement of various tools, panels within the workspace. And aside from that, you can also click the help button if you have other concerns in here. While by signing in, all you need to do is simply sign in your account, either using your Google account, email, and many more. Now from here to start, on the left side panel, we have here also a variety of options to choose from. Starting from this option or icon on the left side panel to select here or simply choose different kind of elements in here. While this tag icon allow you to insert HTML tags like divs or images directly into the design. Aside from that, you could also navigate the shape tool that you can use to draw a basic shape like rectangles and ellipses, which can be styled and animated in here. So as you can see, we have here different kind of sizes, height, width, and many more. You could also change the color of it on the right side panel and even to make it add a border or outline on it depending on your preferences. While this pen tool lets you draw custom pots or shape with curves and points. Moving on from here, aside from that, you could also navigate to enter here a text by clicking this T icon on the left side panel and by simply navigating in here in our dashboard or timeline in here, you can simply enter, for example, sample text. Or you could also double click on it to change the font, the font size, font style that you prefer. By clicking on the text icon on the right side panel, you can highlight this and choose your own font. For example, I'm going to make it Arial Black and even change the color of it, add a text effects, and many more. Now aside from that, you could also use the 3D object or create tool that allows you for rotating elements in 3D space, useful for animation. Now aside from that, using the fill tool, it will help you or you can use this to apply fill color to selected shapes or elements in here. So you can simply change the color of the background of it, or the fill color. Now using gradient tool or the gradient icon, it enables you to apply and adjust gradient fills. You can simply highlight the color in here and change it depending on your preferences. While the other one is to simply help us, which is this zoom tool or magnifying glass icon that help you zoom in and out on the canvas for more detailed work. While the hand icon on the left side panel that you can see will allow you to click and drag the canvas to reposition your view, especially useful when zoom in on a large design, in which this tool helps to navigate different parts on the workspace without affecting the elements on the stage. 
and lastly on the left side panel you can navigate the zoom in and out where you could also enlarge sample text some of the elements in here shape and many more now moving on aside from that you could also navigate some other editing tools on the top right corner including this design view option in here in google web designer in which it is a visual editing mode that allows user to create and modify their web content using drag and drop interface while the color view option in here provides a user-friendly interface for selecting solid color or creating gradient effects or you can click the preview button if you want to preview the result of your graphic or design that you just created and to save the changes you can click the publish button on the top right to save it or publish it directly but moving on below you can navigate also this library the properties and also the components this library help us to store and manage all of the asset used in our projects such as images videos css files javascript files and components now aside from that using this properties panel in google web designer it is displays and allows you to edit the attributes and settings of the currently selected element on the stage it is one of the most important panels for customizing elements in your design if here you can see an element id tag type position and size rotation and 3d transform to change the opacity background color border settings and even padding and margin text settings source of url and many more but moving on to this components panel in here it contains a collection of pre-built interactive elements that can be easily added to your project to enhance its functionality and user interactions without needing to write a complex code if you are a tab area to create a clickable area over any part of your design in here and also some of the display including the carousel gallery which is a pre-built image viewer a map youtube that adds youtube video player to your design by simply entering the video's url in here you can simply navigate it under this section of components you also have here this iframe to embed the external content like another web page into your design using frame top to call video expandable or collapsible that adds interactive sections that can open or collapse useful for menus faqs or contact or any other content in here so as you can see we have here added a video but you could also click or do simply double click here this carousel some of this type of gallery that you prefer and in which it will automatically be added where you can edit this directly in here now aside from that as you can see we have here also a variety kind of option text label button that you can add in here by double clicking it it will automatically be added in our timeline where you can customize it directly also but again from here if you're not done you can proceed by clicking the publish button on the top right corner to publish it directly or alternatively you can click the file type or the file option on the top left corner and click the save button to save the changes in here but overall that is just basically how you can use google web designer thank you